Egypt, the land of wonder and beauty. Egypt has been a source of knowledge and continues to inspire. Egypt has great stories to tell and explore. I always love hearing the famous song of Walk Like an Egyptian. Now, I guess after listening to this book, you will not only walk like an Egyptian, but also travel like the ancient Egyptians, where tourism and travel were familiar 7,000 years ago. Numerous aspects of the current global civilization derived from the ancient Egyptian civilization, such as writing, the scholarly calendar, medicine, architecture, festivals, chemistry, and other fields of life. The influence of the ancient Egyptian civilization on the modern world is clear. However, there are still several puzzling topics about ancient Egyptian livelihood that require more effort and a deep search in order to understand them. Egypt is the cradle of civilization and humanity. Indeed, ancient Egyptian civilization is one of the oldest, magnificent global civilizations. Traveling to the eastern deserts, Sinai, and the nearby sites were frequently done in the Old Kingdom. Cheops sent several campaigns to Wadi el Magara in order to bring turquoise and copper to the heavens. Egyptians adopted travel into the deserts, Sahara, on both sides of the Nile Valley. This is because of the attractive natural sources and raw materials that deserts would have, as well as the adventure of traveling across the desert and hunting special wild animals. Sea cruises to many destinations were found in ancient Egypt. Such cruises occurred in ancient Egypt about 5,000 years ago. Similarly, in modern times, Egypt, as well as many other countries, employs cruises to visit tourist and historical sites. Ancient Egyptian journeyers organized and conducted cruises in Egypt about 5,000 years ago. These cruises assisted the ancient Egyptian travelers with their overseas travels. Since the Opet festival was one of the most important annual festivals, the road of this festival that lay between the Karnak and Luxor was significant in ancient Egypt. Egyptians used to celebrate this festival in the second month of the season of inundation, where it lasted for 11 days in the middle of the 18th dynasty. Hunting trips were regarded as sport and leisure adventures that were only made by the kings, high officials, and wealthy people. The kings loved to accompany their friends and sometimes families, the various shapes of boats indicate different purposes for travel, including fishing, hunting, sport, and leisure activity. The ancient Egyptians searched for opportunities to expand their leisure activity during their spare time. This was true from the pre-dynastic period until the end of the New Kingdom, and current visitors to the tombs and temples can see demonstrations of this. There are many humorous scenes in the paintings indicating this fact. For instance, a group of people at a party have lost their balance because of drinking, whilst others are vomiting and dancing. It is extremely exciting to know that not only travelers today are coming from everywhere to see what ancient Egyptians left, but also that habit to travel for sightseeing was known since the ancient Egyptian times. Among the foodstuffs and drinks enjoyed are beer and wine, meat, and fruits. In two accounts of Sinai quarrying expeditions of Harhuf, around 734 men went on the first journey, and on the second, about 209 men and 284 donkeys. All of them had to be supplied with food and drink for the entire length of the expedition. Now, when this servant fared down to the residence, the sole companion and master of the cool rooms, Huni was sent to meet me with ships laden with date wine, cake, bread, and beer. When they traveled outside Egypt, they found the same welcome, shown by Egyptian literature and in visual art. For instance, the inscriptions of Mersagoasis on the Red Sea 
show that ancient Egyptian travels were happy ones. Ancient Egyptians' travel was well regarded. They welcomed foreign delegations and incoming travelers. As has been mentioned in the book, Syrian princesses traveled to Egypt to pay tribute to the rulers, and ancient Egyptians looked forward to welcoming them. Make holiday and do not weary of it. See, no one is allowed to take his goods with him, and no one who has gone comes back again. This quote exists in the Harris Papyrus at the Song of the Harper. Now, I remember the following quote from the ancient Egyptian literature text, saying, Follow your heart while you're alive. Put perfume on your head. Clothe yourself with fine linen. Make holiday, and don't forget it. Harpist Song, about 1400 B.C. Egypt, where it all begins. To get your audiobook edition of Tourism and Travel in Ancient Egypt, Travel Like an Egyptian, visit your favorite audiobook retailers, including Audible, Audiobooks.com, Overdrive, Hoopla, and many more. This book is also available as an ebook in several languages and in print form. Join us as we travel like an Egyptian.